Hi everyone, this is uh, Yeshua said my name, YSMN. Uh, thank you for joining me for yet another video. I wanted to show you some images on my screen today that may come across a little bit more clearly than what I showed you on my phone the other day, hopefully. Uh, sometimes when I use my phone, there's a glare. I wanted to show you some of the churches in Europe that are made exclusively, the Catholic churches in Europe, that are made exclusively out of bones. And this particular website uh, address is right up here for you to look at. Uh, here are the eight creepiest churches made of bones. Um, you know, to me, no words need to be said. It's self-explanatory. It's evil. It's demonic. It's pagan. Uh, I should That goes without saying, you would think. But I don't know how anyone could walk into a building like this and call it godly, call it something that Yeshua would have any part of whatsoever. Uh, from the Skull Chapel in Poland to medieval ossuary in Spain, here are eight of the coolest churches made of bones from around the world. Coolest? I hardly call it cool. I call it evil. Uh, but I'm just using this website as an example to show you some of the churches in Europe that actually use actual human remains, human bones, in the structures of these so-called churches. Remember, she is Mystery Babylon, according to Revelation 17 and 18. Here's one from the Czech Republic. Uh, I mean, look, look at all these human skulls here. Uh, the ceiling is lined with spines and skulls. And, and femurs and uh, you name it, it's there. Uh, how could anybody walk into that and claim that this is godly? It says every fixture and decorative piece in the ossuary is made from real human bones that date back to 1511. Uh, the arches and pyramids are lined with skulls that are made of 40,000 to 70,000 skeletons. In 1870, the Schwarzenberg family commissioned woodcarver uh, Frantisek Rent to redesign the harrowing bone pyramids in 1870. Okay, here we go with the pyramids again. Uh, so here, here's more here. Look at this. Look at this. This is from San Bernardino, Aye Osa Milan. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but what is godly about any of this? Okay, and yet these people claim, that's why I say that they, they present themselves, Mr. Babylon presents herself looking like a lamb on the outside and is definitely a wolf in sheep's clothing and speaks the words of the dragon and also does the, wor does the works of the dragon. Uh, when Yeshua walked this earth, he said, you, the works of your father you will do. Okay, those who are born again of the spirit would have nothing to do with this whatsoever. It says here, the church modified the facade and decorated the walls of the ossuary with human skulls. Um, and this is godly? Really? Hmm. Look at this. Look at all the skulls, the, the skeletons. You know, I mean, I'm sorry, but this looks like something out of a nightmarish horror movie to me. Skull Chapel in Poland. The chapel walls are lined with bones from the victims of the 30 years of the Cilician Wars. So they're taking people that were killed in these wars and using their skeletons to line their chapels with. The ceilings are aligned with bones uh, patterned into crossbones, which reminds me of the secret society, uh, the Skull and Bones. That, that's another video I'll do for another day, okay? The Skull and Bones Secret Society. Uh, they're another secret society just like Freemasons. Look at this. Can you imagine walking into this particular building? I'm not going to call it a church. It isn't. It, it's a den of hell. It's a den of demons. As a matter of fact, Revelation 17 and 18 said that she is the hold of every foul spirit, the habitation of every devil and foul spirit. Look at this. And you tell me if this is godly. Revelation 18, the Holy Spirit pleads with you, come out of her, my people. Capella dos Osos, Portugal, all right, is a 16th century Franciscan chapel uh, lined with skulls and bones that stretch all over the interior walls. The main church of St. Francis is decorated with golden altars and walls of painted blue and tile. Our bones that are here wait for yours. There's a sign, apparently, that says, reminding them of their own mortality. Are you kidding me? <laughs> apparently not. Here, here's another sanctuary, so they call it. And they dare to call this altars and sanctuaries and houses of God. Um, this is from a monastery of St. Francis, uh, 
Cisco of Peru, okay, um, lined with more skulls and skeletons. All right, this is all over. Look at this. Look at this. Ossuary, Spain. <laughs> um, unlike some of the other bone churches, the medieval ossuary in Wamba, Spain, displayed their bones in large organized piles. I mean, you know, can you imagine when the Lord walked this earth 2,000 years ago that he would have anything to do with any of this? I can't. Look at this. And people visit this and throw money at it, like offerings. To, you know, just like people believe they, they can pray people out of purgatory, which is nowhere in Scripture. Uh, the finished work of the cross is not enough for the, the typical Catholic. It, you know, you have to pray someone's soul out of purgatory, which is nowhere in God's Word. When Jesus died on the cross for us and paid our penalty in full, he said, it is finished. And here you've got money being thrown at, at these skulls before people enter this, this so, supposed evil sanctuary. This is in Ireland. So this is all over Europe and South America. And there are, remember I told you there are places where bones are seen under glass, where here you've got decaying bodies and coffins in some of these, um, in some of these, these so-called chapels as well. Um, as far as dead popes go, I wasn't able to show you this on my phone the other day very clearly. Um, here are some dead popes. Uh, there are dead nuns, there are, are relics, vials of blood, fingers, uh, you name it, under glass for people to go and visit. If this is not the most unclean, horrific, evil doctrine of devils, I don't know what is. Nobody would invite Yeshua, our Lord and Savior, into any of this and dare to claim that it glorifies the Father. None of it. Look at this. And yet people line up worshiping these popes because he is the prophesied man of sin out of Daniel that exalts himself above all that is called God and sits on a city of seven hills, which is Rome, dressed in purple and scarlet as the bishops do and holds a golden cup of the mass. And here's a, here's a sun symbol here. Now, this is a, a video I'll make for another time. Uh, the Vatican is heavily into not only changing times and laws, they changed the Sabbath from uh, Saturday into Sunday, but they also are heavily into sun worship, which they will not openly admit, but a lot of their sconces and uh, their monstrances and things like that depict the sun, okay? But I wanted to show you these pictures of them under these, these dead popes, under these glass. Uh, there's even nuns there that are decaying. So not only do we have churches full of dead men's bones, which I just showed you, People throwing money here, dead men's bones everywhere, okay? And, uh, I mean, look, look at this. This is just absolutely, what is godly about this at all? But now we've got unclean, dead bodies laying under glass for people to come and view. There are relics of vials of blood and fingers and nuns and what they call saints. Um... I'll be doing another video as well, uh, and I'll be covering more of this on, on Patreon. Um, I'm going to be starting to upload videos on Patreon in more depth. Uh, I truly believe there is censorship going on on YouTube because I'm exposing the truth. I've had people tell me they're not getting notifications of videos. Uh, so I think the algorithms are suffering for this channel. It's because when you speak the truth, Satan comes against it. Uh, the Pope claims to be God on earth. We've gone over this before. If you want to look up this particular uh, website up here, Please do so. Uh, this is every quote from popes and bishops and even Catholic literature down through the centuries claiming the Pope does not merely claim to be the representative of God on earth. He claims to be God on earth, which fulfills Daniel's prophecy stating that he will exalt himself above all that is called God and all that is worshipped. I'll read a couple of statements here for you. The Pope is of so great dignity and so exalted that he is not a mere man, but as it were, God and the vicar of God. And it, it gives the sources here. Now I'll read this blasphemous claim. All names which are in scriptures are applied to Christ by virtue of which it is established that he is over the church. All the same names are applied to the Pope. And here's your source. The Pope and God are the same, so he has all power in heaven and on earth. I, I feel disgusted even reading this out loud. So I, 
encourage you to look up this particular website. Please prayerfully study these statements. Um, if you're in the Catholic Church, I'm trying to, in love, warn you to come out because Revelation 18, God urges you through His Spirit, come out of her, my people. Her is Mystery Babylon, the false harlot church. There's nothing godly about a man who claims to serve the Lord by calling himself God on earth and taking the title of the Holy Father. There's nothing godly about lining so-called churches with human skulls and bones and skeletons. That is absolutely demonically evil. Look at this. I'm sorry, it's demonic. I, I can only imagine the amount of demons that live in these places and unclean spirits. And then putting dead popes and relics and fingers and blood vials and uh, under glass for people to go and venerate and worship? Really? Is this something that we would ask the Lord to do if he walked this earth? No. Now, on the community section, uh, I'll end this video on my channel. There's a community section right here. You can click on that tab. If you haven't done so, I, I encourage you to do so. I upload a lot of information about the channel and upcoming videos um, in the community section of this uh, of, of the channel. Um, we're going to be going over the, the Jesuit symbol, the IHS symbol here, and sun worship. We're going to be dealing more with the Freemasonic symbol here and, and the Freemasons, how these, how the Bilderbergs are a part of everything, how the alphabet agencies are a part of everything, all these projects that are going on here. MK Ultra, Project Monarch, which are mind control, okay? Um, all kinds of projects here that we're going to go over. All right, and some of them, again, I will be able to deal with in more detail uh, on my Patreon page for those of you who are paid patrons. Um, of course, the Pope says, all ways lead to God, and of course, that's not true. But down here, I wanted to show you um, my full P.O. Box address, uh, which is uh, P.O. Box 36, 1363 Progress Way. Sykesville, Maryland, and here's the address. If you have a testimony you would like to share and you do not want to leave an email trail, I am looking forward to receiving your testimony. As always, anyone who knows how long, I've run this channel for almost 10 years now, thanks to God's grace. I have never shared someone's personal information if they tell me not to. So you have my word if you need someone to reach out to and share, all right? Your testimony may help somebody. So I wanted to leave this, my PO box address up for people to see and write down uh, in case they're interested in writing me. Uh, but on Patreon, all right, I am, uh, of course, of course, the, the chat is free to whether paid or free members uh, come come join the chat for free. The uh, We have a message forum there. Um, however, I will be uploading more in-depth videos uh, that I believe YouTube is starting to censor because they don't want the truth to get out. So if you're interested in hearing that, uh, become a paid member. Um, and I'll be putting most of those up because I feel like I might have less censorship that way. But there's nothing godly about claiming yourself to be God on earth and taking the title of the Holy Father. Um, you know, the, the words are written in Roman canon law. Um, this is why during the Reformation, if you owned a Bible written in English, you were burned at the stake because the Bible sets you free. The scriptures set you free. Writers on the canon law say the Pope and God are the same. He has all power in heaven and earth. Says who? Says who? This, this particular citation? Eh. You know, it's... The scripture says, He who sits in, enthroned in heaven scoffs. Why, why do the nations conspire in vain against the Lord Almighty? The Lord is coming back soon, and he's going to put all enemies under his feet. This particular... This is demonic. It's evil. There is nothing godly about it. And I'm sorry, I don't want to see unclean dead bodies and relics and fingers and vials of blood under glass and, and, and venerate them. So I wanted to show you this in a little bit more detail on my screen here. Uh, it might come through a little bit more clearly than on my phone, okay? Um, thank you for listening, and uh, more videos to come soon. Again, please keep checking the Patreon page. I will be uploading videos there uh, for paid patrons. Uh, in a little bit more detail than I think I'd be allowed on YouTube because of the censorship going on. I have subscribers telling me they're not even getting notifications that I'm uploading new videos. So you could help me by uh, hitting the like button and by sharing these videos, please, because the truth of God's word has to get out. Ephesians 5.11, expose the deeds of darkness. 
And scripture tells us we should not be ignorant of Satan's devices. God bless you and thank you for listening.